What is up guys it's the real deal welcome to the channel so guys we are going to be taking on the terror dome or the as i like to think of it as the thunder dome and this is going to be a video for anyone that's a beginner that's new to the game sort of stuck around level three or even two and you want to sort of figure out how to progress through this dungeon so we're going to go to level five and i mean i've still got a long way to go myself but we should smash this boss pretty easy. I mean, he's got a 100k advantage over us. We're still going to beat him. So um, let's look at the team first. So we got Leo, an attack champion um, that does loads of damage. Got Oak, who's going to be our tank. And then we've got Raven Na, who's um, an energy champion that does loads of AoE damage. But she just hits hard in general. And these three champions are sort of the core of my current team. I literally use them in every single dungeon that we've got at the moment. Uh, then we've got Randall, who's an assassin, and assassins are great for this boss, so he's gonna do insane amount of damage to him. And then we've got Lyran, who's gonna be our healer, and he's just gonna help keep everyone alive. Uh, for the commander, we've got Hargrandon, Hargrandon, and yeah, he's gonna help basically um, just keep these guys alive, which is pretty essential. Then let's have a look at um, the um, prototypes that we've got going on and just see if there's anything that's going to sort of benefit. I'm going to actually bring in a Dark Summon. That is really going to help Randall. And like I said, he's a key component of this. Uh, Ultima Ring, I don't have a better option. And then the Scholar's Monument, I don't, I haven't got a better option for that either. So. We're just going to roll with it, guys, max out. And so saying that we're too weak, it doesn't matter. We are going to be strong enough to still uh, be Argo and quite comfortably as well. But yeah, Lyran is going to come in clutch. He's going to do some insane healing and keep the team alive. Ravenar popping off. Ravenar? Ravenar. Oh, yeah, I just, yeah, I don't know. I cannot say her name properly. Yeah, but yeah, we're just going to uh, just keep chipping away. And Randall does do some really, really nice damage. Uh, what we'll do at the end of the fight is we'll just have a quick rundown of the boss's skills as well so you can sort of see what he does and, you know, see if we can come with like a game plan. Um, but yeah, Randall, though, Everyone should be able to get him. You know, he's only an epic champion and he is an absolute boss. Uh, really good in arena as well. Like at the low level that I am, he is a hard carry. Uh, he can sort of go to the back rows, start picking off all the you know, like long range champions and stuff. But yeah, really, really cool champion. Really, really like his kit. And I don't know, assassins just look cool, don't they? Like no matter what game you play, an assassin always just looks pretty sick. So then we have to try and take these bombs out as quickly as possible. And there goes the first one. And Randall's already uh, cheekily jumped ahead and did the second one. 19k crit there. Very nice from Randall. We only got a few seconds left. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And the boss is back. And we just need to finish him off. And we're almost there, guys. Yeah, but Lyran again, as you can see, like everyone's almost got full HP. And considering the 100k gap in like power is just insane. And we're still able to do it really, really comfortable. Uh, lower down, you don't need a healer. You can just have more damage instead. Um, but yeah, I just feel like it's, it makes it a little bit easier, more comfortable. Two minutes, 22 seconds, not bad at all. Pretty respectable clear time. All right, guys, a major mistake for myself. I never realized this. So ideally, we will actually bring in four melee champions. Um, it says here, damage caused by units outside the circle will be greatly reduced. And all those AOE champions have, are they're going to do nothing. So actually, it would definitely make sense to bring in 
one healer, and then loads of attack champions. So yeah, maybe double assassin, but yeah, something to help me progress. And I'll catch up with you guys in a video later so you can see how we've progressed through that. All right, guys, let's check out the builds on all the champions. So we'll start with Oak, Professor Oak, and we've got him in four pieces, Vigorious. Um, so because it's a two piece set, it means we're getting 30% increased HP. And ideally, we just want anything that's got HP as a primary stat. I mean, 31k, that is huge. 18% is massive. 32% is even better. And then just uh, damage reduction on the boots, which is still nice. Uh, but yeah, total stats, 164k HP and damage reduction, 14.4%. Very, very nice. Leo, my hardcore carry. Again, he's also in a Vigorious set, and it really does help him. We've only got him in uh, four. We've got four pieces in a broken set as well on him. Again, anything that's going to have HP percent on it is really, really going to help. He's only sitting at 83k HP. Would love to try and bump that up a little bit. Um, also, I'd love to have some crit rate on him as well, because he does hit super hard. So, uh, yeah, if you get some crit rate as well, that'd be really nice. And damage reduction is nice because he is a melee champion as well. Randall, my new favorite champion. Look at him. What a, what a beast. Um, so yeah, crit rate is great on assassins. You obviously want crit rate, crit damage, attack. Because the count is still new, um, we're going to be going for Sun Signet to help bump up our crit rate. And if there's attack on anything as well, that's always nice. I mean, HP is good on him because it's going to help keep us alive. Uh, I'd love for these to be crit rate gloves because that would massively bump up our damage. Attack percentage on the headpiece, nice. Oh, sorry guys, just had like a coughing fit. Um, my hay fever is really, really bad at the moment. A real tickle in the back of my throat. Um, so yeah, 30k, uh, sorry, 30% 30 attack, that's huge. So total stats, we've got 2.5k attack. 30% crit rate and 3.3 crit damage. Um, yeah, but as time goes on, we'll massively, that will massively increase. And then Ravenar. We've got um, Hero, which is going to increase our attack. Um, and that's, unfortunately, that's all we've got. I'd love to, uh, for her to have some more crit rate. I mean, nice gloves, 25% crit rate. And then attack on the boots as well. So 2.1k attack, 25 crit rate, and then 5.2 uh, crit damage. And then Lyron. There he is. Kung Fu Panda himself. So for him, you really want to try and get a uh, abundance set, which is going to increase the healing he does by 35%. That is huge. That is a massive, massive you know difference and to be fair i shouldn't have really this is a mistake do not level weapons up and he doesn't need attack he just needs to be so needs survivability with hp and then he just needs to be in an abundant set just so he can heal um i do need to sort of level up some of his gear um but yeah he's pretty decent at the moment like would like him to be around sort of at least 60 to 80k hp for survivability but otherwise, you know, all he's going to be doing is healing the squad. Um, but yeah, well, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope this helps some of you out there. Uh, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.